They added a flamethrower into Modern Warfare Zombies, so you guys know we've got to pack a punch this, and we're going to be using it on the Ram 7, which might be the new best full auto weapon to use in Zombies. So in this video, we're going to take him a game, max him out, get him tier 3 pack, legendary rarity, try and make it Zombies and the Mega Abomination. If you want to see more pack a punch testing videos like this in the future, make sure to unlock that subscribe button. You unlock the flamethrower in the Battle Pass. You have to buy all of Section A14, and you unlock the aftermarket Jack Purifier part. Then after you've done that on some weapons, you'll be able to go to the Under Barrel, and you'll see the Jack Purifier attachment. Here we go flamethrower time so if you press b switches out and ooh, that shoots so fast that is a wicked animation so um there's some zombies and and, and now there's not zombies hi there oh level 27 and gone yeah yeah a little bit of burn a little bit of burn i really hope this changes or just something about it gets upgraded when it's pack a punch i'm gonna be so disappointed if we pack a punch the weapon and the flamethrower doesn't get any stronger. In tier one, the uh, the flamethrower is melted. The thing that's cool about the flamethrower is technically, since it's not its own weapon, you could just use a normal AR, kill a bunch of zombies, and if you ever have to reload, just pull out the flamethrower instead. Kill the last few that are close to you. See the range on it. Hold on. Okay, so that that that's about the range. Flamethrower, pretty close range. Get some ammo, and no. Picking up ammo from the zombie drops does not refill the flamethrower. That's kind of an L. That's the main way I go about getting my ammo is killing zombies, and the fact that that doesn't refill the flamethrower... Yeah. Luckily, there's ammo crates all over the map, and yep, ammo crates do refill the flamethrower. Burn, baby! So before we continue, I, I want to see if we can get camos for the Ram 7. So I don't know if those are going to count as hip fire kills, but we're getting crit kills with it, which is interesting. You can get crit kills with a flamethrower. So if you just aim high enough, boom, crit kill. Yep, flamethrower kills definitely count for camo challenges. So now that we know it counts, we got to we gotta go for headshots with the flamethrower. Oh, you know, I never thought I'd be trying to get headshots with the flamethrower, and that was not a headshot. Contract time, get our bag up, and we are out of flamethrower ammo again. Walk of shame, back to the ammo crate. Have a feeling we're going to be doing that a lot in this video. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know, Hellhound, you've burned me so many times. It's about time I burned you guys back. You know, so something's satisfying. Something's satisfying about just burning a Hellhound. The amount of times I've been burnt by the Hellhound. Yeah, um, in a, in a tier one zone, the flamethrower is really not that great. It's it's nice to have it when you need to reload, but just using it by itself, I would wait. Like, look at this. So this is how quickly the flamethrower is killing. But if we were just using our actual weapon, um, this one definitely seems to be killing quicker. And this one, you know, has a little bit more range. So, so far... In a tier one zone, the flamethrower is not crazy practical. Oh, max ammo. This should fill up the flamethrower too. Yep. So max ammo is also fill it up. Oh, excuse me. Can we take out the spore with it? Oh, we can. Burn! Burn! Go, 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 go. Burn, 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 burn. Oh, dude, this is almost out of ammo again already. Uh, the flamethrower eats a ton of ammo. Maybe it gets doubled when pack a punch, just like the normal ammo count. One can hope. One can hope. All right, free pack. Come on. Right off the bat, give us pack. No. Although I will take Jug. We'll not complain about that. Okay, now this really reminds me of Alien. Does this not remind you of Alien with the spores and everything? Oh, no. Oh, no. We shouldn't have gone in here. Yeah, okay. Shouldn't have gone in here. The flamethrower ain't built like that. You know, the flamethrower can only be used in close quarters, and so far, it's not really a weapon that I would want to use in close quarters. Wait, I don't have decoys anymore. I've got snapshot grenades. When did I... Hello? That is one of my biggest pet peeves in zombies, and it's my fault. There's no one else to blame. But I, I constantly pick up random trash on the ground. I had decoys two seconds ago, and now I have snapshot grenades because I accidentally picked them up. So I don't know how I'm supposed to train myself, but I have got to train myself to stop picking up random junk off the floor. So yeah, we're out of ammo, uh, and there's an ammo crate inside the spore building, but uh, this is going to be a little bit dangerous. Even more so now that we don't have decoys. Is that our decoys? <gasps> those are our decoys. All right, flamethrower's back in action, baby. Come on, get those crits. Get those crits. Burn. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Keep going. Probably should pop the spores. Probably should pop the spores. That's kind of the main goal. And we're out of flame. Oh, man. Come on, give us an ammo mod. Oh, napalm burst on the flamethrower? You know, I doubt that's going to do anything. But now, now we've got a flamethrower with napalm burst. Did you take my max ammo? Oh, wait. That's a tier two pack. I appreciate you, good sir. Thank you. Huh. Drives by, drops a tier two pack, leaves, doesn't explain. Although I don't really want to put a tier two pack on this quite yet because I, I want to see the damage the tier one pack does. So we're, we're going to, we're going to wait. We're going to wait to put that on there. All right. Outlast contract. Thank you very much. Let's see if we can get the ammo mod to activate. Does the flamethrower activate? You know, I don't think we'll be able to tell. Oh yeah, it does. It does. That's napalm burst. So yeah, Napalm Burst actually activates on the flamethrower. We got we got the double flamethrower. Woo! 
All right, come on. We got to get crit kills, normal kills. I want to try to grind as many of the camos as possible using the flamethrower. Okay, well, now we're out of ammo. You know, the Ram 7 in and of itself is extremely strong. I I'm excited to see how the Ram 7 is going to play out when it's maxed out because this might be one of the best ARs in the game. Just from how this is feeling in the tier one zone with the ammo it has. And I don't even have all the best attachments on this yet. This might be a contender for top AR. Boom, level 78. All right. Tier one pack, tier one pack, tier one pack. Jug again, okay. You know how I said I wasn't gonna complain about getting Jug? You know, I didn't I didn't expect to get Jug twice in a row. But hey, we're here, free PhD is here. So it would be a shame not to take free PhD. Almost as much of a shame it was missing that jump. So there we go, jump down, boom. Wow, we're not gonna talk about that. Wow, look at that lag, it just made me miss the jump. Whoa, okay, try again. There we go, thank you very much. Free PhD for Lego. There we go. Okay, we've got enough for the pack a punch. So before we pack, fill up our ammo. So there's 300 flamethrower ammo. That is before pack. Let's throw the Ram 7 in here. Boom. And now we have zero. What the? F now we have. Hello? Please tell me it doesn't bug out the flamethrower. It got rid of all of our ammo for it. Do we just. Nope. Oh, and it's only 300 ammo still. So not only did it not make our flamethrower ammo bigger, it took all of our flamethrower ammo. Does it kill better? Oh, okay. It definitely does. Right? It's not a placebo, right? It, it definitely feels like it's melting quicker. Yeah, it, it has to be, right? I wish we had damage numbers in this game. Damage numbers in Cold War were nice, especially when testing stuff like this. And when Pack-A-Punch, the Ram 7 becomes the all-rounder Black Cell. That is the name of the blueprint we have on. You know, I really wanted to see the Pack-A-Punch name for the Ram 7, but I forgot when you have a blueprint on and you Pack-A-Punch the weapon... It just says the name of the blueprint, not that. Oh, well, so we'll have to come back in later. I don't know why I'm going to try this, but we're going to try to take out the orb with the flamethrower. Oh, wait, wait, we can do it. We can do it. Hold on, hold on. We just got to be really close. It's going to be so much more annoying than doing this normally. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't want to be common tier anymore. Wow, you know, okay, well, you know, we used it till we we're out of ammo. I I'll take that as a success. We hit it enough. I'm not about to go find an ammo crate and come back and do this. There's no reason to torture ourselves for no reason. Yay, a green tool. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> oh, rare aether tool. Let's go. Wait, but on top of this, we also got that pack two crystal from earlier. Oh my. Look at that camo. That is, um, whoo. The reason the weapon looks like this is because this blueprint has alternate textures on it. So it shows the alt texture of the pack a punch. And that, that's what this is. It is just all the alt texture. And it is very beautiful. Yeah, I'm starting to realize we've pretty much made no progress on the camo challenges. We've just been kind of mesmerized by chilling and throwing around the flamethrower. Oh, what's the worst that could happen doing the ether reactor contract? Whoo. Ooh, all right, excuse me, pardon me. I need you guys to go. Dude, I've got no flamethrower ammo right now. Overload the reactor. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you very much. All right, our flamethrower is back in action. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, dang. What the heck? It's like almost, it's almost like they have fire resistance. What the? Okay. Okay, we, we, look at how quickly we could just shoot this. Well, he's at one health now, but we could have just shot that guy so quickly instead. Yeah, look at how much faster it kills when we just shoot with the weapon. That that was so much easier than using the flamethrower. Oh, purple tool, purple tool, tombstone, and an extra self-revive. All right, mercenary stronghold. I was told something about the flamethrower that I really want to test. Apparently, the flamethrower goes right through shields. At least that's how it works in MP, so I'm hoping it works the same way in zombies because I hate the riot shield guys. So if I can just, you know burn straight through their shield yeah that's what we're gonna do which honestly makes no sense because a riot shield should technically still block flamethrower bullets right i mean i'm pretty sure they're at least a little fire resistant all right where's the shield dude you are not a shield dude where's the shield dude right there wait that is no we're out of ammo i'm pretty okay let's go get ammo i'm pretty sure it was working but the flamethrower just isn't that strong. I mean, we are in a tier two zone, but we also have it tier two pack and blue rarity. So I feel like it should kill, kill them a little bit quicker than that. All right, where's the shield dudes? Zombies, don't waste my flamethrower bullets. I can't use it on you. No, oh, I'm gonna use all my flamethrower bullets. Oh my God, nope. Do we burn their riot shields off? Because the riot shield dudes just aren't here anymore. Come on, I really wanted to burn a riot shield dude. Whew. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, he landed on the, on the, okay. Not, not the most appropriate place to land, but yeah, so far, um, I'm not absolutely in love with the underbarrel flamethrower. I feel like some of the other underbarrels might be a better choice. Okay, the Ram 7 itself is insanely good. Like, the flamethrower has been a little bit of a letdown. We haven't fully max upgraded it, so 
maybe it'll get better, but the Ram? The Ram's really good. So even if the flamethrower ends up being in a dud, at least we found something that was worthwhile using this game. Oh, let me hop a ride. Yeah, where are we going? I'm going wherever you're going. Oh, you're going tier three. Nope, I am not going wherever you're going. I'm not ready for there. Okay, so for one of the camo challenges, we have to use a field upgrade and then get killed shortly after. And the using this on the flamethrower is not a good idea because we could have got so many more. We, we could have got so many more kills if it wasn't for the fact that, you know, the flamethrower doesn't kill quickly. Look, that's how quickly the Ram 7 could have killed the zombie. That's how quickly. Is this a new spore contract location? I have never done a spore contract here. I've actually, I don't even think I've ever been to this part of the map. We're like way up on these hills. I know you can spawn here, but you don't spawn this far back. This looks really weird. This is not an area I have frequented. I don't think I've ever been here. There we go. And zombies get 200 critical kills with the Ram 7. I didn't get to read the name of it, but uh, we need to get more flamethrower ammo. Luckily, there's an ammo crate not too far away from our grinding spot. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Pack of punching the weapon definitely makes it do more damage because this is in a tier one zone. Uh, it was not doing this earlier. Okay, we've got to get killed shortly after using a field upgrade. So let's hoard up all the zombies in the area. Okay, so now let's use it. Okay, yeah, the flamethrower is a lot better. I mean, well, it's a lot better in a tier one zone, which I mean, it's a tier one zone. <gasps> Max, this should give us flamethrower. Let's go. Dude, this is a really good spore contract. Like this is one of the better ones I've had. We've just got four spawns all around us and we're like out in the middle of the nowhere on the map. So no one's going to come and disturb us and our spawns. Oh, there we go. Get 250 hit fire kills with the Ram 7. Another camo challenge down, baby. Wait a minute. I think we got a team of people going to the world boss Easter egg. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, let's, let's join them. Didn't plan on doing that this game and I don't really have fully maxed out weapons, but I, if there's a team of people fighting the world boss, I am coming to help them. Hopefully they were able to get all the key. Oh, that is a lot. That this is going to be the biggest boss fight that I have seen yet. How many people do we have here? That's six, seven, eight, nine. I'll be nine. I've never seen nine people at one of these before. Oh, that is so many people on the mini map. This is the most amount of people I've ever seen in an area before. Oh, here we go. This is what open world zombies needs to be like. There needs to be more boss fights like this that just bring the whole server together. Having 10, 15 plus people at an area taking down a boss together. Like This is, this is fun. We got 10 of us here. All right, random group of guys I just met. Let's do this. Okay, the most important thing is not to forget to use my gas mask. I've got to continue doing that. Dude, and they all brought jugs. Oh, there he is. <laughs> the firepower. Oh my, that almost landed on bro. Be careful. I almost just got yeeted out of existence. You know, this is dumb. This is, I'm about to try to use the flamethrower on him. Oh my God, Lego, what are you doing? 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 Yay, well, um, just in case you, for some reason, wondered, the flamethrower is not good against the giant worm boss. I don't think anyone asked, but I now have the answer. If you, if you want to know if the flamethrower was super OP against him, it, it's not. We answered the age old question. Will it flamethrower? You know, since I didn't do any of the steps to get this here, I'm not sure I'm going to get the rewards for this. I might be doing this for no reason. There she goes. I did get a rift. I did get a rift. Oh, there we go. Legendary aether tool plans. We take them, boys. So yeah. I didn't do anything. I just showed up here and it, it gave me rewards. So um, if, if you see a team of people doing the boss fight, feel free to join them and you'll still get your crap for it. And that's probably going to be the easiest way to get that boss fight done. There we go. Legendary ether tool plan, which, you know, funny enough is exactly what we need. So now we can spawn in with a legendary aether tool. And if we're going to max this out, we need one of these. So perfect. All right, we're done playing around. There we go. There's tier three pack, legendary rarity right off the get go. Also, I want to check out the pack a bunch name. It is Amon's Wrath. Amon's Wrath. The max out version deletes tier two zombies. And I kind of like the iron sights on it. I've been running it with a red dot sight, but the irons on this, not bad. I didn't put the orange tool on it. That was still common. I guess I actually picked up the wrench. All right, let's see. Tier two zone. Can we melt this? Will it melt? Gone. This thing absolutely deletes tier two zombies. Amon is apparently thought to be the king of gods. So yeah, maybe this is the king of assault rifles. Maybe that's what it's supposed to mean. Maybe that's them foreshadowing with the package name that this is, um, this doesn't mess around because it, dude, it does not mess around. Okay. Before we take this to tier three, let's quickly finish getting a gold. All we got to do is get kills with ether shroud active, which will be so easy with this and go. Oh, there we go. Greed blur unlocked. So once we exfil, we should have gold on this bad boy because we've definitely got more than hundred kills. Okay. Perks real quick. Perks real quick. Um, We'll take this one, that one, this one, this one. No. Yeah, I should have got speed call. Should have got speed call. Speed call over depth perception, but it's all right. All right, well, um, you know, we're just going to go right into it. Right into the thick of it. All right. Eat flamethrower mega abomination. Oh, we had an ammo with it? Well, that was so anticlimactic. I had like six bullets and we, okay, well, hold on. Redo it, redo it, redo it. 
Yeah, tier three zombies, it kills them. I mean, it kills tier three zombies. That's actually okay. It is good for a backup when you have to reload or if you're out of ammo and you know you had to go somewhere. It's a nice little backup to have on your weapon. Uh, now let's see what the Ram 7 does. So yeah, the Ram itself uh, definitely packs way more of a... Oh, no, 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 that's the make abomination. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Why, why are there the crawly dudes? What the... Where are we at? Okay, well, here goes nothing. How are we out of... Ant? It said... What? It says I have 300. Hello? It says I have... I... What? Does that not say 300 down there? It's reserved full. It's clearly not full. So the flamethrower might be just, you know, a, a little bit buggy, but this is the star of the show. I know this is about the flamethrower is what this video is about, but um, the, the ram kind of stole the show. All right. Nope. Don't do that. Please don't do that one. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't do that. Yeah, take it. Um, I mean, it does extra damage because technically it's fire and he's weak to fire, but um, no, could would not would not recommend using the flamethrower against the mega abomination but i would recommend using the ram 7 dude dude the ram 7 don't care oh it mows it mows down zombies in tier 3 all right you know what if this is going to shine anywhere this flamethrower is going to do really good at taking down a mangler because manglers are weak to fire too mm. that wasn't terrible but i don't know the flamethrower is Okay, you got to understand it's not like a primary weapon. It's like a backup and having it on your weapon as a backup. It's okay. You know, the, the flamethrower even fully maxed out. Not that great in tier one because you just you're not you can't get close enough to them. I feel like I'm slide canceling like a CDL match with this just to be able to kill these guys. All right. Oh, this is a big one. All right, let's get the shield dudes. Let's get the shield dudes. I want to try this. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Fire. Oh, that is so satisfying. Oh, as someone who hates the dudes with shields, as someone who hates the dudes with shields, being able to just light them up with the flamethrower and it works, beautiful. There we go. Look at it. Golden Digma camo on the Ram 7. Oh, dude, even the flamethrower is golden. There we go. So technically, we, we unlock gold camo on the flamethrower. As you can see there, uh, the flamethrower definitely has uh, gold on it. So there's the golden flamethrower. Now we got to get 300 kills with it being packed. Oh, it's, oh, okay. That's more like it. This reminds me of the World at War flamethrower during insta-kill. Oh, there we go. Weapon challenge, 300 kills with golden enigma. Zircon scale and zombies get 300 kills while it's pack-a-punched. Now we just got to kill bosses. There's one mangler, two manglers, disciple. Oh my, dude, they spawn so many bosses. What? All right, I'm down. We're going to get this in like two seconds. Oh, wait, that already serpent tonight. We already got serpent tonight. That was so quick. And with that... Borealis also unlocked. Oh, and there's our ride. So as for the camos, here's Zircon Scale, here's Serpentonite, and here's Borealis. If you're interested in the class setup I was using in this video, obviously we had the Underbarrel Flamethrower, the Jack Purifier on, the 60 round drum mag, we had the Haste XV Grip Tape, the Recon Comb, and the HVS 3.4 pad. Uh, I kind of liked it with the iron sights near the end, so that's what we were using. But uh, to sum up what's going on in this video, uh, the Flamethrower, it's fun. It's not terrible. I wouldn't say it's, you know, unusable. It could kill zombies. And once you max upgraded the weapon, it was killing zombies in tier three, but the primary weapon we were using was killing. And most of the ARs you can put the flamethrower on, the primary AR is going to be doing more damage than the flamethrower. It's really good as like a backup. So if you have to reload instead of, you know, taking the time to reload the weapon, if there's a zombie in front of you, you got to take care of, pull out the flamethrower, finish them off, and then go back, you know, reload the gun whenever you have the chance. It's pretty good during insta-kill, but once again, so, so is everything. And once you max upgrade it, it does absolutely fry zombies in tier one, but so so does everything else. Once this was tier three, it was one-shotting zombies in tier one. So it's it's not terrible. It's just, it's just kind of meh. It's like an additional thing to put on your weapon to have. Nice little extra there, but I think the under-key shotgun, uh, probably a little bit better than this. We haven't done a video on that, but we might do one fairly soon. But the real star of the show here was the Ram 7. This thing is an absolute monster when you fully upgrade it. Probably the best AR in the entire game and one of the better weapons to use in general. Uh, didn't expect that going in. This video was really meant to be about the flamethrower and that's really what we covered here. But um, we also test out the Ram 7 and th this thing, um, this is the real start. But uh, yeah, with that guys, if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, any more Pack-a-Punch testing videos where we fully max out a weapon, make sure to unlock that sub button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, peace. Lego unlocked.
He's Lego Unlocked. It's going to unlock all these kids.